Let's turn to the Bible in the book of Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20. Now unto him is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we asking or thinking according to the power that worketh in us. What power? I will get you in a minute. Somebody say amen. Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Come on, let's lift our hand. Let's go to the Lord. Father, open the window of this place. Pour down your anointing. Anointing my lips. Anointing my mind. Anointing my body. Hide me behind this pulpit. But share the word of God. Oh God, I ask you the move in the midst of your people. Anointing this word. Whoever God, they need a, need a word. Here it is, God. We believe in your word and the power is in us. Come on church, let's give a hand clap for the Lord and shake somebody's hand next to you before you be seated and tell them God love you this morning. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. We love all of you. I appreciate you, you this morning. You, <laughs> President Ronald Reagan, March 1981. He made a favor statement I always kept in my mind and my heart. And that statement, it driving me to forget about anything in the world and get into delegate my life to God. President Reagan said 1981, whatever happened now, I owe, I own my life to try the will to serve him in every way I can. That's President Reagan. So I bring now a message this morning because the church is being attacked. Spiritually, physically, mentally. <laughs> and the message I bring this morning to you, don't stop dreaming a great dream. Don't stop because you're going through the battle. Don't stop because you're going through the attack of the enemy. Don't stop because somebody tell you the lie. Don't stop because you heard something is going on you don't understand about it. Just keep dream the dream. Somebody say amen. And we read in the scripture that I will leave you today church. It's your choice to keep dream. Scripture, there is a river in Colorado Desert. 
dream the dream. <laughs> if you give me a favor, my friend, turn down the housing a little bit so they can tune their ears a little bit and blow out the monitor for me so I can hear myself. I dream thing is not completing my life because I surrounded the car. I let go the thing of the world to dedicate to God, to experience the good of God. Somebody asked me the other day when we have a meeting in our company I work for, I sit on those men and look in those eyes. I don't care what experience you have, what you got. If you're not committed and faithful, you not belong to what I'm dealing to this company. Somebody say amen. That's not a threat. That is the truth. Dream the dream never die except you give up. And God never give up on you. When you become a heathen, do everything of the world, enjoy life in the world, God never give up on you. We give up. We surround it. We say, that's it. I'm tired to hear about this Jesus. I'm tired to hear about speaking in tongues. I'm tired to hear about Jesus' name is the only way you can get in heaven. I'm tired to tell me this is the way I live my life for God. No, you should not tire because it not cost you anything. Only thing you gotta do, dream the dream is inside of you and fit the word of God in your dream. Okay, let me slow down a little bit so you can understand. What I'm saying is, man, a lot of people give up before the blessing coming in your life. I was 31 years old. I thought, I'm going to have a child. I'm going to like say, what God? Are you serious? I'm going to get it all. But I never give up my dream. Someday, God will step in. Some of the church today give up so easy because the battle is bigger than themselves. But don't stop dreaming. Great dream. God give it to you. Somebody say amen. The scripture declared us, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Keep adding God. Because I'm dreaming the dream. Somebody say amen. Just keep bringing it, devil. I know what you come to do. You come kill, steal, and destroy. The scripture's not ended there. They give you a choice. But my Jesus came to give you life more abundantly. Mean continuing. Means going on. Church, don't Keep up your dream because the battle is bigger than yourself. When I read the story of President Reagan, it's an amazing president. I've been in his library 11 times. <laughs> I've been trying to find out where America is. When something happened to America, don't look at somebody in the White House. Go back to the history. If you see the church history, don't look at the problem in the church, but find the history of the church in the Bible. Because the history will remind you the dream you are dreaming of. The history of the church will remind you where you are today. Somebody say amen. And I read the President Reagan's statement. I never forget. I owe my life to God. You know, I give it to him. Because he dream. America is a lighthouse 
and a hillside. Can you see yourself dreaming that dream? One of these days when it's over this world, you're going to be in a hillside with Jesus. Are you dreaming yourself one of these days Jesus is going to show up? Are you going to be with him or are you going to be left behind? I'm not trying to scare anybody, but I'm telling you right now, church, in my heart and the scripture where I read, the church need to get back to the basic where they found the church in the book of Acts. In the upper room, the disciple and everybody was praying and seeking after what the prophet Joel spoke in the, in the last day. I will pour out my spirit on all flesh. The apostle exercise that dream. The prophet prophesy. The time come. The people's going to free from their sin. The people, they're going to free from their iniquity. The people's going to be free from their desire, the lust of the world. Because Jesus Christ was arrived. They keep that dream going on. Generation after generation for the coming of the Lord. And you are in it today because you keep dreaming. The dream. God gave it to you this morning. So now I want to lay this down to your attention this morning. Church, there's something about this dream. Keep dreaming inside of you. My dream when I was a little boy, I'm going to explain this to you. I want to be with Jesus. I never even know who he is. I was in the church. I was raised in the church. But nobody tell me how you fall in love and be with Jesus. Until one day, I learned how to came, come into the apostolic movement. And they tell me about Jesus. We are afraid of offending people about Jesus. Did you ever do observation all day long? How many times you say things out of your mouth, probably 100%, and it's only one time mentioned about Jesus? How many times you always say things and no? Jesus in it. Because when you love Jesus, you got to be able to say every time you have an opportunity to speak out of your mouth. Jesus is the only answer. There's no other answer. He is the answer. All these people try to sugarcoat the message. Listen, confess your sin is a part of salvation. But it's not a food operation how to be born again in the kingdom of God. A nice guy or so a good smile is not going to complete the salvation. Somebody say amen. Having money and all these things going on in your life is not complete the part of salvation. The only way they complete the part of salvation. The book of John tell you, unless the man be born again in the water and the spirit. We, we share this with our ministry team this morning. You got to live right. That is the best message you can give it to somebody. Not the word come out of your mouth as a minister. It's your life. It's the message what people is looking for. Somebody say amen. amen. You got to make sure when you talk or speak about something that is your life. That is your testimony. That is your dream to dream. But you cannot say something and it's not lined up with your life. Oh, church, this morning I'm still dreaming. I am. What I'm dreaming for is the move of God to people in this church, 
to people in the world to experience every time I experience. See, I'm not determined my walk with God or serving God or what I'm going through because the way I feel about things, I determine my walk with God, what I'm going for God through His Word because the Word never changed. Feeling will portray you and lost your dream you are dreaming in, but the Word of God will never fail you. I dream the dream. One of these days, the death is going to rise. I already see 1994 in Seattle, Tacoma, four year old young, young baby died, take a last breath in the hospital. And my bishop challenged my faith because I desire that see the death rise. German is in our midst. I decided to see that young man that came on a wheelchair and start praising God for. I'm not just coming to church to have a service. I come to church because I dream the great dreams. <laughs> oh, somebody say amen. Well, brother, how do you don't understand another thing going up? But stop pulling on yourself all the time. You want me to say something to you this morning? You might be offended. Your biggest battle every day is yourself, what you speak out of your mouth. You create the spirit to attack your dream. Oh, we can't afford it. Well, you speak it. You curse yourself we can't afford it. Oh, I don't have nothing. You already speak it. <laughs> Somebody say amen. Don't stop dreaming. The great dream. I mean, just introduce you something. If you want to learn how to win the, sp the spiritual battle, rise up with your dream. It's inside of you with the help of the Holy Ghost. Don't leave you in those areas to sacrifice what is not belonging to God. You don't understand. You got that right. I never understand what's going on with you. Because I am not God. But I understand one thing. I know what the word of God is saying. I know what the scripture is saying. There are some of us. They think we know the word. But when they put it in action. It's far away what we believe in. What we read in the scripture. There are so many people out there. They try to bring a good message. You probably sit in this place and Preach this morning. Yes, sir. I'm not standing here because it's my choice. I'm standing here because my pastor can believe on me. My pastor can count on me. Because he know the dream will never die unless I die. The dream is still there. The dream is still remind you why you let go of the world and walk into the house of God. The dream why you let go the alcohol, the drugs, the center friend. I'm not trying to attack you. You hang around with people out there. I understand that. But the people that portray and disagree with you what you believe. If somebody disagree what you believe in the word of God. You just tell them I love you. But I'm keep walking. Because they will affect in your dream. And you cannot see clear the dream. You are dreaming it. People in the church have a great opportunity to fulfill what God has for them. Somebody say amen. And the way we're going to fulfill this church, 
Stop trying to follow other people's advice. How you live for God. How you be faithful to God. Keep telling them I love you, but I gotta go. Because I have a dream to see the move of God in the midst of my present. I want to see people they baptize in Jesus' name. I want to see people speaking in the Holy Ghost, the evidence we believe. The Holy Ghost is inside of you. I want to see people. They can come and say, Pastor, preach it to me. Tell me what you have for me. I want to see people that come to the house of God. Sister Erica, I don't need to sit behind that people and try to encourage you to praise God. It should be automatic if you have a dream. Don't wait for something happen to you before you reaction. Do it now. You have the opportunity and the strength to enjoy it. What is good and defeat it what is bad. Oh, I'm excited. Dream the dream. I'm going to go to two favorite people in my life. They have dreams. My grandmother, she's a dreamer. Once she prayed, she always heard her, God use this young man. God protect him. God, I am dedicating his life to you. And I say, Grandma, will you keep praying for me? And grandma say, because I'm still dreaming a great dream. One of these days, I'm going to see you preach about Jesus. He never forced me. He never commanded me. She just pray and show me the good example. Dream the dream. At 2004, that dream my grandma was dream about. One doctor, child, my family, she's going to have a heart operation. And she was 82. The grandma called me on the phone and said, son, you're the only one. I can believe and trust in what should I do. I say, Grandma, this is the time. You got to go to repentance. And you got to tell God forgive you. And you got to make your way to the water baptism in the name of Jesus. And God's going to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And in the same time, you're going to get the healing or miracle you're looking for. It happened. Sacramento Hospital. Family was gathered together there. You remember, I'm the youngest guys in the family and all my family know different churches. And they probably see this on the video because I'm speaking the truth. Grandma's not looking for somebody that preach the good message. What somebody is used by God is looking for somebody they can get the dream and live the life like he never lived before and serve God. <laughs> Behold the Lord stepping in. My grandma was coming down to Taft, California. And we pray, explain her the plan of salvation. My grandma said, what about the church? We are raising the grandma. You don't go to heaven because the church. You go to heaven because the truth. Amen. The plan of salvation. Right. Woo! And the one they explain, and grandma said, when? I'm going to go to that water baptism to taste what are you telling me about Jesus. I said, Grandma, let me call the pastor. 
Pastor Leo Fisher. We call him and say, Pastor, I interpret everything to let my grandma fulfill her dream. Because I remember when I was a young boy, he always prayed to pray, God use my son. Actually, it's the grandson. And that day was the most exciting thing in my life. To see my grandma walk into the church and he's get ready to go to the water baptism in the name of Jesus. I want to encourage you, church, keep dreaming a great dream. Jesus is waiting for you and your dream. Jesus is waiting for you and your family's dream. Get back to Jesus and let Jesus carry you through your dream. Everyone see walking in the water baptism. This little boy was so excited. Break the generation curse was on my family because grandma got baptized in Jesus' name. And not only baptized, the doctor lost their investment for pay the bill to have an open operation. Jesus know how to fix it. Jesus know how to fix the heart. Jesus know how to fix your body and your mind. Dreaming a great dream. Jesus will never leave you for sin. And not only that, one grandma baptized, 25, 35, Going to 45, my whole family start baptized in the name of Jesus. My own mother baptized in Jesus' name. My own uncle and auntie, they come to the water back. Jesus, because there is a dream. It's in my heart to see my family receive the truth, receive the revelation who Jesus is. My favorite person, my grandmother, never correct us in her angry. People say, man, you always smile. You always cry. That's my grandma. He answered everything with a good attitude. Keep dreaming a dream. Somebody say amen. And I love that woman, even my grandfather. I love those people in my life. It's the reason why I'm here to serve the truth. Because I dream in a great dream. I see clear where my future is. Now, I pray to God. To give me wisdom for word and attitude, how I present that to my little boy. Because my generation is not his. And the reason why I talk about this thing, because that's my life. I don't live the life, what I'm saying here, out there, the world. In a different life. This is who I am. In the church. At my work. Everywhere I go. And the devil is alive. Try to use everybody. Against. The dreams. Is already in my heart. Ain't no devil in hell. Can stop the dream. There nobody can stop the dream. It's up to you to fulfill the dream you dream about it. It's because you fail. Does that mean the dream is die? It's still there. It's because you're going through something in life. Does that mean the dream is die? It's still there. 
until the last breath you take in in this earth. It's because you do bad thing. It's not mean. The dream is die still there. It's because you try to do everything the best you can. It's not mean the dream die. It's still there. It's because you 70. It's not mean the dream die. It's still there. It's because you 80. I cannot. I, I count every year coming to enjoy my life because I always accomplish the past I can for every year. I, I fight the devil, I fight things, I this, this, but I cannot wait. How old are you? Oh, I'm 53. Next year, I'll be 53. Something that I'm excited about it. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I invested myself into myself what God said and I'm going to enjoy everything I invested in a dream Brother Deborah was say a story about his little granddaughter about the car but the granddaughter know that is hard the grandpa's heart and he says something about the card, and, and the granddaughter say, Grandpa, are you going to sell the car? I want that. She keep dream the dream that Grandpa have a nice car. Someday, Grandpa's going to move on by her dream inside of her heart. That car, it means something to her. Oh boy, I gotta wait. I, I gotta be in tune because my little boy's gonna chase me out of the place and I gotta get this guy somewhere. <laughs> Deep dream! The dream you have. My other person, favorite person is Pastor Steve Gold. When he tell me about his testimony, what he's going through. That man should be in the sixth foot already. But God give him a favor and a miracle to his body. And he's still here to preach the word of God. He's still dreaming a dream. He's going to fulfill what God Tell him what God bring him out from the great yard to where God is gonna use him. Dreaming a dream, the pastor have a dream. The city church move forward. I'm doing good. I got 20 my, 25 minutes. But I'm going to let you go this morning. Because the devil is a liar. Amen. Amen. One of the things striking in my life last year. Pastor Steve quote. Talk to me. He take his business schedule. He, can I tell you something? Oh, he's watching. Every morning at 5 in the morning, sometimes 4.30, last year, I call him in the morning. I'm not afraid to call the man of God. Somebody has already given you his word. And I never forget what he said. Brother Laulu, I believe you come out of this. I believe everything is going to work it out. 
He knew there is a dream. It's in my heart. He knew I'm a dreaming person. And I told him when I first talked to him, Pastor, I just need a place to be saved. I'm not looking for a minister. I'm not looking to preach. I'm looking to be saved. I want to be in a place that continue to remind me about the dream. I'm dreaming about it. About the dream I have. I'm not looking for a ministry. I'm looking for the dream. I've been dreaming about it. To serve God. So the pastor. Working with me. And you guys never even know. Because. I don't show everybody my weakness. Because you're not God. I want to help you this morning. Show your weakness to God. Not your fellow man. Not the devil. Not your friend. Because they will not help your weakness. They think they will help you. But they stop you. Show to God that when you have a man of God in your life, show to him and let him help you. Samson was a great man of God. Samson had all the promise. Samson had the power. Where does Samson show his weakness? Delilah is waiting. Tell me what your strength, Samson. I promise you I will love you. I promise you I will stand by your side. I promise you nobody is going to mess around with your hair. I promise you, I can do better job than your mama. That's a lie of the devil. If somebody tell you they can do better job than your mama, you need to rebuke that. They never carry you nine months. Your mama does. If they say they do better job than your mama and your daddy, you have a battle on your hand. Rebuke the devil and tell them, not my mama, not my daddy. I will stand with them. Samus. It's another life that life. Oh, if you go down there, the pastor don't understand what you go through. That's a life from the bit of hell. The pastor loves you. Samson show his weakness to Jezebel. I'm facing the rolling down. But I want to talk about the dream. <laughs> you know the spirit Jezebel is not a woman, is not a man. The spirit Jezebel is a control. Somebody say amen. So there's a different control. You can control what you have, but don't control somebody what they have. Well, I tell you how to deal with your car. Hey, this is how you got to do what? You never pay. If you want to help me for my car, can you pay the first payment? And we let you talk? Don't tell me how I live in my house. You want to give you my first payment so you can pay? And you say something. But don't say something that belongs to me. I've been dreaming about. Dream the dream. And Samson show his weakness. And this woman have a plan to destroy you. You in the church, but the devil is waiting that door to take the joy, the victory, the word away from you so they can defeat you. That's what that woman doing. To Samson. Somebody say amen. Dream the dream. The Lord is given to you. And the Bible say there is no weapon. That is formed against thee shall prosper. 
Are you dreaming? The dream God gave you? So I'm going to give you something. How to help you this morning. Somebody say amen. I do all that extra. Talk to you about everything. If you want to fulfill the dream, number one thing you got to have in your life. Make up your mind to dedicate who's going to fulfill that dream in your life. And his name is Jesus. Stop act like the book of Acts. The, the book of Matthew. Many, many come in my name. Heal the sick. Raise the dead. Prophesy in my name. And he said, depart from me. Work of iniquity. That's scary. We need to exercise what is really real and truth inside of us. For somebody is going to follow the dream. You are dreaming about it. Let God to be reigning over your life. Let God to become first priority in your life more than anything. When you put that first, your dream is going to be fulfilled. Uh, Raul, I'm young. I, I, I don't know about that. What are you talking about? Listen, when I was young, ain't nobody some hope down when I go to church. I used to sit in that corner seat and then look at my pastor preaching to me. I need it. Tell me the word of God I need it. Because I have a devil I'm going to fight when I leave the church. An elder, I was created this, this uh, culture. When I see my elder cannot stand it up. And I say, elder, this is for you. And I take up and run for them. Elder, this is for you. I'm going to dance for you. I'm going to jump for you. I'm going to shout for you. I'm going to run for you. Because I'm dreaming a dream. The Lord put it in my heart. Somebody say amen. Here's my favorite scripture. I love this scripture. I always exercise in my life. In the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 75. In the holiness and righteousness before him. All the day of my life. If you want to fulfill the dream. You need to live right. And live holy. Live committed your life. To God. Live faithfulness to God. God is looking for a people. They can be able to move in your life and share the dream. Some of you this morning is dream the move of God. He was here today. Unless you, you're looking for something different. <laughs> I, I exercise this when I come to the church. I cannot wait. If I drive in that cage, oh, I can't wait to hear the music coming. <laughs> To heal people's praying. To heal leaders uh, Christian. Uh, shout. And do those dance like stepping down and try to jump dance. Just keep doing it, brother. Don't let somebody shut you down. If they shut you down, just go out there and jump in and shout in the parking lot. And when you shout in the parking lot, the Bible says, don't let the rock part for your place. You tell those rocks. It's the same with the people in the church trying to stop my dream. But I'm going to praise God. Dream the dream. Do you know the reason why I don't shout in the church? I'm going to tell you the why, the reason why. Because the church is not my problem. <laughs> All of you is not my problem. My challenge is this, guys. So I, <laughs> in my little room, I create an empty chair. Every morning I get up, I look at the empty chair, exercise my faith. In my natural eyes, God's not there. But in my spirit, God is there. And every time I get down my knees, I say, God, the way I see this empty chair, fulfill my dream, fulfill my heart. Because when I leave this room, I'm going to show people how great you are. Well, I'm 
down. I got one more to bring it to you afterwards. There are some of you in this morning so struggling and you face the valley of decision to serve God. The love of God is not a problem with you. You love God the condition you're in. You love God the battle you fight. You love God the way tears coming down your eyes. You love God the way you've been broke. Somebody say amen. I'm talking about you have one dollar and they put it in the pocket. It's gone because there's a hole there. <laughs> Somebody say amen. You love God for everything you have. And you always use this. I love God. Honey, if you love God, keep dreaming and serving God. And be faithful to God. And dedicate to God. And stand with God. Don't believe the lie of the devil. Oh, brother, how do you don't understand? Listen. I fight sickness all month long last week. I feel I don't shake this thing off. I call my doctor. Say, doctor, I don't want to give my money to you. If you have my doctor here, he can tell you the truth. I don't need to give you my money. I'm going to try to help you. Can you tell me what's wrong with me? And after you tell me, I promise you, doctor, I'm coming with a good report next time. I struggling with things last month, but somewhere I make up my mind. I'm going to walk through because I'm dreaming that great dream. I would have found faithful when the Lord show up. I would have been the house of God. I would have been the person of my people, my brothers and sisters. I would have seen my pastor. See me. I'm walking in the house of God. I'm not talking about the people that really hammer with sickness. I'm talking about people understand what sickness is. Your sick leave you death, and your sick is up to you how to overcome. That's in scripture. And this is a scripture that hate me. Live shall not die. Ooh. What are you talking about, brother? I'm talking about faith to believe the dream you have. It's because your daddy failed. That's not mean you're going to fail. It's not because your uncle, your auntie called you out of direction. That's not mean it's you. Keep dream the dream. It's already God give it to you. Let's dream that great dream. I know some of you in this house going through a lot of things. I'm going to help you to save that dream you have. Bypass the people. They always speak negative in your life. Bypass it. I'm not saying you let it go or, or talk bad about it. Bypass it. You know what the main bypass is? How many of you drive? How many of you have a driver's license? You have a car. So when you get into 17, do a bypass to get into 17. So to bypass the, the, the road you're going on there, say, I'm going to get in the freeway. So you bypass the road and get into that road getting the freeway. That's called bypass. And the crazy thing is, you not only bypass, but you see the light, green and red. How many of you is red and you're still going? And you forgot there's somebody next to you. It's your chance to, to leave, but you just go past. <laughs> oh, nobody's here. What? Yeah, you bypass them and you bypass, bypass the law. 
And when you have a ticket, you're going to go out here and you argue with the judge. Oh, judge, I, your honor, I was being faithful. No, you see you, you just drive by to the red light. That's not a bypass I'm talking about. Spiritual bypass. The people, they don't understand the dreaming you dream on. Stand on it. Be faithful on it. And dedicate it for God. Somebody say amen. amen. For I say unto you, I will not anymore eat the four until to fulfill the kingdom of God. In the book of Luke chapter 22 verse 16. Tell us to fulfill what God's have for us. So some of you here, you are in a valley of choice. Bypass the thing of the world is the best thing, peace of mind in your life. Bypass it. And you're going to be a happy person. I'm going to close with this. You can come up here, please, team. If you bypass your shop before you come in the church, you probably, a lot of you probably thinking, where is the pastor? Who's going to preach today? Is Brother Laulu? Oh, oh, how dare. He's going to put him to preach on Sunday morning. <laughs> See, sometimes we have no idea how God works. It's not working because we want to do something. It's working because he has a plan for all of us. I was dreaming a dream when I walk in the hospital, all those people is no longer to lay in those bed. And I'm still dreaming that dream. I am. It happened in Visalia, California. A family, they're dying. The mom dying. I say, God, don't take me there if you not heal that lady, that sister. I don't need to call there. You can show up and heal her without me. I, you don't need my help. But it's a dream. I dream. One of these days, I will walk in there and God's going to step it in and heal that woman. And it's happening. I'm going to this to close it down. I'm going to give you the opportunity to come up here. Whatever face you this morning, whatever is going on in your mind and your heart, you are under the presence of God. God see it all. Are you still have that dream? It's inside of you. Are you still dream? Your dreaming cannot make you to go to bed in the night. That's what the pastor have. He dream to see you, church, to ready to meet Jesus. He dream to see this church on fire for God, winning soul for the Lord, and feel something greater. Than what we have. I'm not satisfied. Just come here. I want a bigger. Than what I see. What I'm fixing. To see and dream. The dream. I dream on it. That's how standing our feet this morning. My last scripture to close this. In the book of Galatia, chapter 2, verse 20. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ living me. And the life which now I live in the flesh. I live by faith of the Son of God. Who loved me and gave himself for me. Don't stop dreaming great dreams.